Hello, this is Fritz Hyde, and I'm here with Buffy Hall. You are watching the Midland High versus Dow High Swim Meet on MPS TV 98 on Charter Communication or through Channel 99 on AT&T UVerse. This event will be cablecast on the following dates and times. Thursday, October 24th, 7 p.m., Friday, October 25th, 7 p.m., and Saturday, October 26th, 10 a.m. We'll break here for the National Anthem. tell you how beautiful that was that in this building it is really tough to get a good sound and that's as clear as you get Kelly did a great job of the national anthem there that was Kelly Finn a senior at Dow High who just sang the national anthem for to start off the Midland versus Dow swim meet today my name is Buffy Hall and I will be here tonight all evening and really getting excited for the race is to begin. Our first event coming up will be the 200 medley relay. The girls are all getting ready after the national anthem. Now they have to take off their warm-ups and get their caps and goggles and get ready to start the races. I think that... It's, it's senior night here. We had, uh, we honored the seven Dow seniors. Um, they went through with their parents and uh, did the, did the, uh, the, the service the honoring those seven and the captains. Uh, Midland High had their senior night, I think, at a previous meet to honor their six seniors. How about this? And this is the last dual meet of the season for both teams. The okay. next meet coming up uh, will be the Valley Championships in two weeks. However, Dow High has a swim meet in Gross Point at Gross Point South on Saturday. But I believe that this is the last meet for Midland High before Valleys. The girls are scrambling, looking to find out what lanes they're in for their first race. Dow High will be swimming in lanes one, three, and five. And Midland High will be swimming today in our even lanes two, four, and six. The 200 medley relay, each swimmer swims two lengths of the pool. Beginning with backstroke, we'll have a 50 backstroke, a 50 breaststroke, a 50 butterfly, and a 50 freestyle. Heat one doesn't score points. This is be the exhibition heat, meaning these girls will get a time, and there's only three of the relays actually score points for relays. The uh, backstrokers will start in the water. Um, Order, I think I don't know if you said the order of the uh, relay is back, breast, butter, and freestyle. Um, the individual medley will be in a different order. Um, they obviously, for the relays, you have to start since there's only one person that starts in the water. Backstroke starts the relay. And our officials this evening we have Lori Smith and Chili Smith. We have a husband and wife combo down on the pool deck. Both come from a very strong swimming family. Chili is the Dow High boys swim coach, and Lori and Chili have three swimmers of their own. So they're getting ready for event one, heat one. 
In lane one from Dow High, we'll have Anna Alsop, Maddie Saggers, Brooke Kuhn, and Tiffany Nostora. In lane two from Millen High, Allison Brubaker, Gabrielle Holman, Julia Quinn, and Madeline Gould. From Dow High in lane three, Holly Young, Abby Cook, Amber Roberson, and Bridget Bruno. Swimming for Midland High in lane four, Brittany DeFord, Natalie Jamrog, Sydney Meek, and Haley Diamond. In lane five from Dow High, Anne Marie Molinar, Piper Nugent, Mackenzie Peary, and Rachel Snyder. In lane six from Midland High, Maggie Dites, Brianna Brownwell, Courtney Kaiser, and Cassie Ramity. In backstroke, they have to touch the wall on their back, and they have to make sure, each swimmer needs to make sure the swimmer before them has come to the wall and touched the wall before they can start. And I think one of the rule changes that uh, is really interesting on relays that uh, back from when I think you and I swam, Buffy, is... That was a long time ago, Yes, Fritz. I know, but it used to be that when you touched the wall, you still had to have your feet on the blocks. Um, I, my understanding is now that you just kind of entered the water. Is that correct? You have to make sure that your hands haven't entered the water before the person touches the wall. So you can get a little head start, but you have to be careful. You have to know what you're doing. Because <laughs> if uh, you make a mistake, you lose all the points. And then you're, you have disqualified your whole team from one false start. The third swimmer is the Butterflyers. We have the Butterflyers in the water right now. And then the final swimmer or the fourth swimmer of the leg will be the freestyler. And freestyle is the fastest stroke in this event. And, uh, relays are a lot of people's favorites. You've got four different swimmers. Uh, you got the exciting starts of the, the exchange is kind of like the realized in track where you have the handoff. You know, a little risk reward there, as you were saying. Uh, you don't want to. You don't want to get a false start because if you have a false start, you lose all the points. Well, swimming to some seems like an individual sport, and it is an individual sport. You're in your lane, practicing day after day, hour after hour, trying to get yourself better. So when you get to be on a relay team, that really is where all the fun comes, and you get to be with three other people, and you're trying to get a best time. In fact, there's a group of Dow High swimmers in the next heat that are trying to break a pool record today. So. I would imagine pretty soon we'll uh, hear a pretty loud crowd. Finishing first in heat number one was lane three, Dow High's D team of Holly Young, Abby Cook, Amber Roberson, and Bridget Bruno with a finishing time of two minutes and 12 seconds, point four nine. I think one of the other things the relays show is uh, the depth of the team. You know, they the show the number of swimmers that we have in town here. That, uh, and you've got uh, 12, 12 relay teams at four apiece. So you've got 50 girls competing in this one event. There are 37 girls on the Dow High Swim Team and 33 girls on the Midland High Swim Team. That's 70 girls. At the end of each race, the girls have an opportunity to do a 25 yard warm down. So they get to swim from the deep end down to the shallow end, and then they have to climb out. They have to climb out pretty quickly so the starters can get the next race started. We have heat two of the 200 medley relay behind the blocks. From Dow High in lane one, Hannah Jacobs, Emma Bauck, Kelly Ballard, and Claire Gombosi. In lane two from Midland High, Callie Meath, Alexis Ligib, Anna Schulteis, and Jennifer Gillings. In lane three from Dow High, Jasmine Portel, Kara Dean, Julia Arns, and Ellie Dean. From Midland High in lane four, Sabrina Vernier, Natalie Halpin, Abby Scheiber, and Haley Whitbrook. In lane five from Dow High, Elizabeth Moraskin, Lauren Hall, Mary Noble, and Emily Arthur. And in lane six from Midland High, Stephanie Lynch, Taylor Lynch, Anne Trapani, and Elliot Reed. And as you said, uh, the girls may be trying to shoot for a pull record in this race. Uh, the pool record's 149.06. And it looks like their previous best time is a 151.9. So they do have uh, over a second to shave off of this race. Jasmine just split a 38.40. That's a really nice lead off for her. Jasmine's been swimming about a 29, maybe even a 30 in the backstroke. So that's a great start. They're pretty fired up for this. They have a big lead over the rest of the field. And Kara Dean is the breaststroker in this relay, and Julia Arns will be the butterflyer for Dow High. 
This is actually my favorite part of the meet right here is to get to see someone do a 50 butterfly sprint. And boy does Julia make it look easy. Just watch this butterfly. She makes it so look effortless. I think it's the prettiest of all the strokes. So here come the rest of the butterflyers diving in right now. There's Julia at the wall. Clearly way ahead of the competition. Not sure if they're on record pace today or not. The girls have suited up. They have their lasers on today. That's a competitive swimsuit that the kids like to wear. It's a knee skin. So the suit goes down to their knee. It's made out of a special material. It almost repels the water. It does. In the water right now, we have Ellie Dean as the anchor of this relay. And they're gonna just miss, it looks like. Oh, 40, they went a 149.60, and the record was a 149.06. So if we could just reverse, if we could just reverse those numbers, they got the right numbers. Well, congratulations to the Dow High A team of Jasmine Patel, Kara Dean, Julia Arns, and Ellie Dean with a first place finish at a 149.60. Finishing second was Dow High's B team with Elizabeth Moraskin, Lauren Hall, Mary Noble, and Emily Arthur. And in third place was Midland High's A-team of Sabrina Vernier, Natalie Hawkin, Abby Scheiber, and Haley Whitbrook. If you're just tuning in to us, I mentioned earlier that the top three teams are the point scorers in a relay. Even though we had 12 teams swim event one, only three teams score points. Relay points are double individual points, so I believe it's 14 points for first place, 10 points for second place, and six points for third place, perhaps. And fourth, fifth, and sixth place don't score points. It, a team can only score two relays, so you couldn't get first, second, and third place and score points. You can only score two of the three relay points. So the Dow High girls took uh, 2.3 seconds off their best time there. Um, so you may be in for a fast meet tonight. Well, it's the last dual meet of the season. Right now we have heat one of the 200 freestyle in lane one from Dow High, Lauren McLean. In lane two from Midland High, Brittany DeFord. Lane three, Megan Pasarczyk from Dow High. In lane four, Kate. Kayla Taylor from Midland High. In lane five, Piper Nugent from Dow High. And Sydney Meath is in lane six from Midland High. This is the 200 yard freestyle. The pool record for the 200 freestyle is a 154 set back in 1988 by Christy Haydenick. Anybody in Midland that knows swimmer Christy Haydenick, she's our uh, one Olympic girl. She went to the Olympic trials in the uh, 100 backstroke, and most recently we've had uh, Midland High's Jesse Pahoida, who qualified for Olympic trials in the 100 breaststroke, and we have Dow High's Brad Craig that's on, currently on the national um, Olympic team. I think, is he, is he training in Colorado Springs, or where is he training? I'm not sure where he's training, but I know that he has graduated from college, but he still has a swimming career. So that's pretty exciting, and it all started in this pool. The uh, one of the other, I mean, Christy, when you were on the record board back from 1988, uh, you were ahead of your time with some of those competition times, and her name is up on the board at least two or three times still. She is. She had a lot of Midland Dolphin records, and uh, Midland Dolphin Dow High swimmer Ellie Dean has broken some of Christy's earlier records as a nine and 10 year old or 11 and 12 year old, but hasn't been able to get her high school records yet. The score of the meet after the medley relay is Dow High 12, Midland High 2. Midland High is coached by Carol Boychuk and Ann Pankratz. Carol Boychuk has been coaching for the Midland High swim team for 12 years. She coached previously with Gary Stricker for two years at Dow High, and Carol is currently a teacher at Midland High School. Carol also coached for the Jefferson swim team, and she currently coaches in the summer for the Midland Dolphins. Midland High's assistant coach is Ann Pankratz. This is her third year coaching with Carol at Midland High and was 
a Midland Dolphin coach, and she was president of the Midland Dolphin board and actually was a college swimmer herself. She swam at the University of Michigan for two years. So we have a lot of experience. Winning that was lane three, Megan Pisarczyk, with a time of 216.93. And finishing in second place was Kayla Taylor, with a time of 224.59. Right now, the girls are doing their 25 warm down getting ready for heat two. And the, and the 200 is kind of like the 800 in track. That uh, It's that race that's somewhere between a distance race and a sprint. And in today's world, the training that you have to do is, is more like a sprint. It's a sprint. It's 450s all out. <laughs> heat Twi number two, we have in lane one, Aaron McDonald from Dow High. Ellie Dean in lane three from Dow High. And Lauren Hall in lane five from Dow High. In lane two, Cambry Reed from Midland High. Lane four, Sabrina Vernier from Midland High. And in lane six, Catherine Vernier from Midland High. This is heat two of the 200 freestyle. And, and Ellie's probably about two seconds off the pool record. So I was just going to say, race. Ellie, this is Ellie Dean. Ellie Dean is a junior, and this is one of Ellie's signature races. She's going to get way out ahead of the group right from the beginning. She is a very, very strong... 200 freestyle swimmer. Ellie's lifetime best is a 156.87, and Christy Haydenick's pool record is a 154.23. So it'd be fast. a stretch. Yeah, that's pretty fast. Really, really fast. See, uh, Ellie split a 27.98 for the first 50. And right behind her in lane two was a 29.77, so you can see how far ahead Ellie got right from the start. On the, I was talking about just a minute ago about the Midland High coaches, and both Carol Boychuk and Ann Pankratz have a swimming family. All of their kids were competitive swimmers, swam at Dow High and swam at a uh, swam for the Midland Dolphins growing up. Kind of neat that they were Dow High swimmers and they coach at Midland High. That's just kind of <laughs> what Midland is all about. It doesn't matter. And when these kids get in the water and swim, they're all friends. And they've all trained together and swam together during the off season. They train together in the summer. And they come up in the same high. program. Uh, you know, Buffy, you're connected very well with the Dolphins program. And that's where all, a lot, most of these kids all start. A lot of these kids started swimming at a young age age group swimming starting at the age of seven or eight and then they move on to their middle school season. The middle school girl season starts on Monday. We have about 40 girls probably on the Northeast swim team and the Jefferson swim team that will be starting on Monday. Ellie finished her 200 freestyle at two minutes point 82. Nice job and in second place is Lauren Hall with a 207.99. And Aaron McDonald finished third with a 211.21. Aaron McDonald shaved two tenths of a second off of her lifetime best. Finishing fourth was Sabrina Vernier, followed by Catherine Vernier, sisters. Catherine got fifth, and sixth place was Cambry Reed. Our next event is the 200-yard individual medley, a little bit different than the medley relay. And uh, for this one here, you know, they, they start out with a butterfly uh, because they don't have to have and switch with the handoffs or the uh, exchanges. Uh, the, they start out of the water in the blocks, and the order for this race will be uh, butter, back, breast, and free. Mm. Swimming from Dow High in lane one, we have Hannah Jacobs. In lane three, Amber Roberson, and in lane five, Anne Marie Molina. From Midland High, in lane two, Courtney Kaiser. In lane four, Julia Quinn. And in lane six, Stephanie Lynch. This is heat one of the 200 yard freestyle. And I know when I swam, it's, uh, this is kind of a fun race because you can break it into four different races. I mentally. guess it's easy to count eight lanes. When you do 100 free and you're doing all freestyle, it's a little bit harder to count, and it's your responsibility to count to eight. 200 IM is a little bit easier to count. You can't get lost. No. This heat is, has all freshmen and sophomores in the water right now. If you're just tuning in to us, my name is Buffy Hall. 
and I'm commentating this evening for the Midland Dow girls swim meet. And I have next to me Fritz Hyde. And, I, and we'd like to thank uh, the Subway uh, Road, Saginaw Road uh, Subway Restaurant uh, for tonight. Um, they uh, had a donation for the, uh, the commentators and the uh, crew. Really appreciate their support. And also, uh, as Buffy said, we're here at the Midland versus Dow High swim meet. This, uh, this meet will be rebroadcast on uh, Channel 99, AT&T, UVerse, and Cable Communication, Charter Communication, MPS TV 98 on Thursday, October 24th at 7 p.m., Friday, October 25th at 7 p.m., and Saturday, October 26th at 10 a.m. and 7 p.m. I am currently the Midland Dolphins age group coach for the blue and the yellow and the bronze swimmers. I have a high school junior that just swam the 200 freestyle in the Midland Relay. And I have two college students who all went through the Midland Dolphins swim program and participated in the Dow High swim team. And Fritz? Uh, I swam uh, competitively quite some time ago, uh, both in England and in the United States as an age group swimmer. And my daughter graduated, Claire Hyde graduated last year and is now at uh, the University of Michigan, but uh, is no longer swimming. So senior night this evening probably had a little uh, memory for little, you little because it was one year ago. That's going to be me next year because <laughs> next year I'll have the senior. So we did celebrate senior night this evening. Dow High had seven seniors that were recognized. Midland High celebrated senior night at, during a previous meet, and they have six seniors on their swim team. And uh, next heat's going to be interesting. We've got three captains. Uh, one captain from, uh, from Midland High. Um, I think Abby Schreiber is a captain. And no, a Abby's not a captain this oh. year, actually. The Midland High captains are Ann Trapani, oh, thank you. Haley Whitbroke, Angela Keeney, who is a diver, and Sabrina Vernier. And the Dow High captains this year are seniors Air Karen Kara Dean and Aaron McDonald and junior Julia Arns. All the captains from Midland High are seniors, and Dow High has two seniors and a junior. So the winner in Heat 1 was Lane 3, Amber Roberson, with a and Amber's finishing time was a 2.43.23. She dropped one-tenth of a second. So a, pers a personal best for Amber. We've got a replay here. Uh, there's the finish of the last race. That was a really nice finish there in lane one. You could see that long stretch to the wall where she finished on the side. That was a really nice finish. Heat two of the 200-yard IM. In lane one from Dow High, we have Claire Gombosi. Lane three, we have Dow High's senior captain, Kara Dean. And in lane five, we have sophomore Elizabeth Moraskin from Dow High. In lane two, Natalie Halpin, freshman from Midland High. In lane four, Abby Scheiber from Midland High. And in lane six, Elliot Reed from Midland High. Abby Scheiber is a Midland High senior who just broke a a team record in the 100 butterfly at Niska's two weekends ago when a minute point. Very, very exciting. So Abby will get her name on the record board. Quite a good butterfly. You can see her off to that great start in the butterfly right there. And Abby is just short of a state cut in the 200 IM. She does have the state cut already in the 100 butterfly. The 200 IM is an interesting race because probably the most critical leg is the breaststroke. But if uh, you're not a good breaststroker, it's really tough to be a good IMer. Well, if you're not a good breaststroker, then probably you won't be doing a lot of IM. <laughs> we have Kara Dean in lane three. Kara Dean is one of Dow High's most accomplished athletes, a fantastic swimmer. She puts in 110% at every practice she attends. And you can see by the speed right there um, in her breaststroke. Kara is planning on swimming next year in college. Right now she's being strongly recruited by the University of Toledo in Ohio. And Abby is hoping to swim in college next year. And she's being recruited by Saginaw Valley State University. So these are our two seniors in the water right now swimming the 200 IM. 
that are both probably going to be swimming next year in college. And it'll be interesting if she can uh, split the freestyle on a 30 or less. I think she's going to have a pool record. Pool record is a 209.76. So she's going to be real close. Kara going all out right here on the freestyle leg of the race. She's very, very close. I think this is incredibly possible right here. You can hear the crowd is going crazy. She just yes, she just smashed the pool record set by Riley Hilbrand in 2007. Paradine, a 207.69. What a great last swim in the Dow High Pool. And Abby also had a personal best uh, by about 7 tenths. Abby in a 220.28. And not, oh, she just missed the state cup, which is a 219.19. Congratulations to Abby and Kara giving each other a hug right there. Kara and Abby swim together during the off season. They swim long course together all summer. Kara right there is just a great, 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 great swimmer and an incredible sport. You saw her reaching over and shaking hands with the girls next to her. Look at the smile on her face. And a big smile, yeah. That's a lot of work record and a Dow High record. The Dow High record was a 208.36 set by Sarah Moraskin. Kara Dean set the pool record and the Dow High record. Congratulations, Kara. Finishing second was Abby Scheiber. Finishing third was Elizabeth Moraskin. Finishing fourth from Dow High was Claire Gombosi with the best time. Finishing fifth was Natalie Halpin. Um, Natalie Halpin was seated at a 243.13, and she went a 243.13. How do you get the exact uh. same time twice? I mean, exactly, to the hundredth of a second to get the same time two times. I guess that's clearly her best time, isn't it? And, and uh, <laughs> look, probably a little frustrating for you because it's always, I mean, the, the driver is best time, even, even more so than who you beat. If you perform your personal best in any race, it's, it's tough to be upset with that race. So, no, she can't. And then Elliot Reed got sixth. Our next event is the 50 freestyle, the shortest race there is. In lane two from Dow High, Leanne Hogue. Lane three, Maddie Coleman from Dow High. In lane four, Isabel Kempel from Dow High. There are six heats of the 50 yard freestyle. This is heat number one. Two lengths of the pool, all out sprint. Very little breathing when you swim a 50 freestyle. You want to put your head down and go. It's a, it's a dive, a turn, and a little bit of swimming in between. And you want to be fast off your dive, and you want to be fast on the wall when you're doing your turn. This is an all out sprint. In swimming, you, you'll hear a lot of people talk about breaking 30 as kind of a rite of passage. That that's, uh, you know, when you're two or three years into your swimming career, that uh, quite often that's a big benchmark. Yes, you want to try to bake, break 30 seconds in the 50 freestyle. Finishing first was Isabel Kempel with a 33.4, her best time by almost a full second. Actually, all three of those girls got best times, significant best times by one or two seconds, and that's really, really hard to do in a 50 freestyle to drop that much time. So congratulations to Leanne and Maddie and Isabel for getting a best time. And these girls are tired. They're not tapered yet. They're still swimming two hours a day every day. They still have morning practice for some of the girls. And here's that finish you just saw right there with the times for each one of the swimmers for the last race. This is heat two. In lane two, we have Kelly Finn from Dow High, Brooke Kuhn in lane three from Dow High, Maggie Dietz in lane four from Midland High, and Tiffany Nestorak in lane five from Midland, or from Dow High. This is heat two out of six in the 50 freestyle. And after this race, we have the diving, uh, but there's quite a few heats of the 50. It's probably the most popular of all the races at any meet you ever go to. It is the most popular. Sometimes you go to some meets and you have 40 heats of the 50 freestyle. We're lucky tonight we only have six. Finishing first was Brooke Kuhn with a time of 32.09, a personal best for Brooke. And here's the replay of that finish. Uh, you, you see the, each of the heats tightening up a little bit. 
And you got her just touching her out there at the finish, lane three. With we have our officials, Lori Smith and Chili Smith, who are officiating tonight's swim meet. So thank you to them. Chili Smith is Dow High's boys swim coach. Heat three of the 50 freestyle in lane one, Maddie Saggers from Dow High. In lane three, Rachel Snyder from Dow High. And in lane five, Piper Nugent from Dow High. From Midland High in lane two, Cassie Ramiti. In lane four, Taylor Lynch. And in lane six from Midland High, Allison Brubaker. This is heat three of the 50 freestyle. Dow High is coached by Gary Strickler. This is Gary's 12th year coaching for Dow High. This is his 10th year coaching for the girls. He's coached for the boys for 12 years. And they've got quite a run going for the Valleys. I, I'm, I don't know if it's 10 years straight for the Valley Championships, but it's gotta be pretty close to that. Actually, the boys have won 11 and the girls have won seven. Seven. Touching first in heat three was lane one, Rachel Snyder with a time of 30.89. Next we have heat four of the 50 freestyle from Dow High in lane one. We have Elizabeth Roden in lane three, Megan Partlow, and in lane five, Lauren McLean. Swimming from Midland High in lane two, Madeline Gruel in lane four, Gabrielle Holman, and in lane six, Brianna Bromwell. This is heat four of the 50 freestyle. In the 50 freestyle, you really appreciate the timing systems they've got here. That uh, I remember uh, back swimming, you know, the timing system gets down to the 100. Uh, it's really important in a 50 freestyle race to have that kind of accuracy. And you can still get a tie, have a tie, <laughs> even down to the 100. But back in the old stopwatches, you used to have uh, finish judges that, because uh, your stopwatches could be two or three tenths off sometimes. But there are timers behind each lane for backup, just in case. You have a, you can always have a, a mechanical failure. Well, Lauren McLean broke that 30, 30 mark that you were just talking about for the first time. Lauren got a 29, finished with a 2912. Lauren is a freshman at Dow High and broke 30 seconds for the first time. So I'm sure Lauren is going to be really excited about that swim. And Lauren, uh, you can see Lauren there in lane five, touching there, taking a full second off of her uh, best time. Next we have heat five of the 50 freestyle from Dow High. In lane one, Abby Cook. In lane three, Mackenzie Peary. And in lane five, Emma Bauck. From Midland High, in lane two, Haley Diamond. In lane four, Alexis Ligib. And from Midland High, in lane six, we have Julia Quinn. This is heat five of the 50 freestyle. And as you can probably tell, each, each heat, they get faster and faster and faster. The, uh, the times are seated. They do. The fastest heat is the last heat, and that's the point scoring heat. The heats previous are all exhibition, and the top um, swimmers in heat six today will be the point scorers. Even if somebody in a previous heat beat somebody in heat six, heat six is the point scoring heat. That's just how it works. Looks like Mackenzie Perry won that race, and she took a half second off her best time. Mackenzie Peary clocked a 28.83. She's going to be really excited about that. She you, dropped a half a second. And you can see the replay right there as she comes to the wall leading the pack. Nice job. When you get to that solid yellow lane line, you see you want to put your head down and reach for the wall and make sure you don't lift your head and take a breath. This is the final heat of the 50 freestyle, and then we'll break for diving. In lane one, we have Emily Arthur from Dow High. In lane three, Julia Arms from Dow High. And in lane five, Jenna Lee from Dow High. From Midland High, in lane two, Jennifer Gillings. In lane four, Jordan N. And in lane six, Haley Whitworth. This is heat six out of six in the 50 freestyle. And this is where it really comes in, where it's a dive, a turn, and just a little swim in between the walls. And look at the power from their kick. These girls kick so hard, they make so many bubbles coming from their feet. And you have to. You have to be a really strong kicker. And Julia Arns, a 25-11, a lifetime best or a season best for her. 
Julia Arns in lane three. She's Dow High's junior captain. And finishing second in lane five, Jenna Lee. And Jenna Lee got a 26-72. Everyone in that heat was sub 30. You see Julia coming into the wall, leading there and touching with a first place finish there. And Emily Arthur at the bottom of your screen in lane one. Right now, they're going to be clearing the pool and getting ready for the diving portion of today's swim meet. We have several divers who will be swimming. And we'd like to take this opportunity to, uh, to thank the uh, MCT volunteers and staff who are here volunteering tonight. Uh, if you'd like to work on the show, like this one, come to the next orientation and studio training class on Monday, November 4th at 6.30 p.m., to, excuse me, probably 6.30 a.m. to 8.30 a.m. on Saturday. It can't be 6.30 a.m. It's got to be 6.30 at night. Um, and also November 9th, 10 a.m. 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Learn about MCTV and how you can become a TV producer and get hands-on training to start volunteering. The cost is $45, which includes your first year membership. Call 837 3474 or come down to MCTV Studios in the lower level of the Grace A. Day Grace A. Dow Library. Learn more at www.midland-mi.org slash NCTV or follow us on Facebook. Again, that time for that class is Monday, November 4th at 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. or Saturday, November 9th from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. for those classes if you want to become an NCTV volunteer. Thank you to those volunteers here. We couldn't do it without you. Okay, this evening we're back with you. This is Fritz Hyde and Buffy Hall at the Midland Dow uh, Swim Meet. Uh, first diver up, we're back with diving. We have four divers, uh, two divers from Midland High and two divers from Dow High. This is our first diver right now. This is Kathleen Bailey from Dow High. She is a senior. Our second diver is going to be Sydney Gross from Midland High. And our third diver this evening is Kayla Patno from Midland High. And our fourth diver this evening is Marta Pangorski. The scores are five, five, five and a half. Total score, 126.35. Something interesting, we have a one, one diver from each one of the classes. We have a freshman, a sophomore, a junior, and a senior. And that uh, is interesting. Actually, that was Marta who is the first diver this evening. We have our second diver on the board, adjusting the fulcrum so she can get the bounce of the board exactly how she wants it. I'm not quite sure who this is, so we'll have to wait. I know it's one of the Midland divers is all I know. Doing a back dive. <laughs> the judges award. Four, four and one half, and a four. Total award, 121.25. Kathleen is our third diver this evening. She's doing a forward dive, half twist, straight position, degree of difficulty, 1.8. Kathleen is a senior. From Dow High. From Dow High. We'll wait for the judges' award. Four. Four and one half, four, total award, 22.5. Sydney is our fourth diver. Sydney is a junior from Midland High. She's doing a back dive with one somersault. This is Sydney's first year diving for Midland High. Actually, both divers this year are first year divers. Sydney's a junior, and Kayla is a sophomore. Both came out for diving for the first time this year. And uh, that was a nice entry right there. And I would guess as a first year diver with that ability, she probably has some gymnastic experience. I have, I don't know, but I'm guessing. Total award five, five and one half, four and one half. Total award 27. Each diver in a dual meet dives six dives. This is beginning of round number two. We have Marta from Dow High. Marta actually is a gymnast, I do know that. Marta is a freshman, and this is her first year diving for Dow High. And Marta has actually 
I think she has 11 dives. You have to have 11 dives to compete in the championship meets. And I know that Sydney and Kayla both participated in the Tri-Cities back in September on September 28th, and they both medaled in the top eights. Marta did not have her 11th dive at Tri-Cities, but I believe she does now. Total award for that dive are five, five, five and one half. Total award, 24. Kayla Patnode is our second diver. She's doing a reverse dive with one somersault in the tuck position, degree of difficulty, 1.6. And Buffy, the one diver that we don't have tonight here that's uh, actually the captain of the Midland team is uh, Angela Kuhn. And Angela Kuhn wasn't able to dive this evening. She's out with an injury. But Ann Pankratz and Carol Boychuk, the Midland High coach, has said that Angela has done an outstanding job mentoring the two new divers on the Midland High swim team. And you can tell by that dive right there from Kayla that Angela has done a good job coaching them. Total awards, five, five, and four and one half. Total awards, 24. Kathleen is the next diver this evening. Kathleen is from Dow High. And Kathleen is a senior. This is either her second or third year diving for Dow High. Judges yeah. scores. Waiting for the judges to put up their scores. And I know Kathleen uh, talked about uh, uh, one of her favorite memories. The divers all had the opportunity, uh, both from Midland Dow and uh, Midland High, uh, to meet uh, Greg Luganis last year. Uh, that he was here speaking at a Dow function, and uh, all the swimmers and divers uh, had the opportunity. And actually, Angela Kuhn mentioned that it's her, one of her favorite memories of uh, from competing. I bet your daughter Claire, and I'm sure my daughter Lauren, who swam at Dow High last year and got to see Red Greg Luganis, would probably agree to that. Two, An opportunity two, that three, these four, kids four, don't get to meet an Olympic athlete. And, and the competitor at the level that he was. I don't know if um, everyone, anyone remembers the, the year that he hit his head on the board um, and still completed the dive. Probably what he's most famous for, for, unfortunately. Well, the incredible diving in order to still win the gold medal after yes. that. Our next diver is Sydney Gross from Midland High. Sydney is a junior. It's important that the spectators are quiet for the divers. As you can see, no wonder why these um, girls did so well at Tri Cities. Can't wait to, wait to see them at Valleys. Five, six, and one half, and a five total award, 34. Marta Kandorski is our next diver. Marta is a, so a freshman at Midland High. And uh, I know you and I have talked about this in the past, but uh, I think this pool and the country club pool are the only pools in town that have diving boards. Um, divers don't have a lot of opportunities in the city of Midland to dive, that's for sure. There are no diving boards at the middle school pools and there are no diving boards at the community the center. center. So. Dow High and the Country Club, you are correct. Very nice. <laughs> Judges awards, four and one half, five, four and one half. Total award, 20.25. Kayla, Kayla Patnode is our next diver. Back dive with one and a half somersaults. And there's Kayla approaching the diving board. You can see those pink chamois on the railing of the diving board after the girls do their dive. They like to wipe off the extra water on their legs and their arms so that they can grab their arms to help or grab their legs so when they do their flips, their legs aren't slippery. You can see the girls behind them that have their chamois in their hands. You sound like a diver, Buffy. No, I'm not a diver. <laughs> this is Kayla. <laughs> I'm gonna wait for the judges' awards. Four and one half. Five. Four and one half. 
total award is 26.0. She just needed to get those feet a little bit straighter on her entry. Our next dive is Kathleen Bailey doing one somersault and a half twist, degree of difficulty 1.7. The judges are looking for their hands, if their hands have to be down by their legs or over their head, in which way they have to face at their entry, if they have to face the shallow end or if they have to face the deep end. So her hands needed to be down and she needed to face the deep end, which is exactly what she did. Our fourth diver is Sydney Gross from Midland High. If you're just tuning in, this is the diving portion of the Midland Dow Girls Swim Meet. We have on the board Sydney Gross. <laughs> Judges award, six, six, and five. Total award, 37.4. We'd like to take the opportunity here. The, the coverage of this meet is made possible in part by the donations from the Saginaw Road Subway Restaurant. Our next diver is Marta Kandorski. This is our fourth round of diving. There are six rounds. Each diver gets to participate or gets to complete six dives, and this is the fourth round of diving. And on the board, we have Marta from Dow High. <laughs> Judges awards, four and one half, four, four and one half. Dow High's divers are coached by Gary Strickler, so Gary Strickler coaches the swimmers and spends a little bit of time with the divers. And Carol Boychuk does the same thing. She coaches swimming and she helps with the divers. The Midland High divers dive during swim practice four days a week, and one day of the week they get to have their own diving practice where they don't have to share the pool with the swimmers. I remember when I was in high school having diving practice and swimming practice at the same time and the divers diving and we would swim around them and it was <laughs> quite interesting as you can imagine. And for the listeners, I uh, have another opportunity. Uh, do you sing, dance, play an instrument or tell jokes? Let, the let MCTV put you in the spotlight. The friends of MCTV are hosting the fifth annual Midland Shining Stars Talent Show on Saturday, December 7th. To schedule your performance, call MCTV at 837-3474 or email midlandstars at yahoo.com. Start your journey to become Midland's shining star. That was Kathleen Bailey getting a four, a four, and a four and a half. This is Sydney's next dive, doing a back dive, one and one half somersaults, degree of difficulty 2.0. Sydney is our fourth diver in round four. This is the last dual meet for both Midland High and Dow High. Next competition will be Valley Prelims and Valley Finals, which will be the second weekend of November. Hard to believe that the season's almost over. Easy for me to say. The girls are probably ready. For the uh, Dow High, is Gross Point an invitational meet, or is that a dual meet? Dow High is going to Gross Point Invitational, invitational. on Saturday, so they have one more meet. But it's not a dual meet? No. I'm not sure what other teams will be there. This is the fifth round of diving that we are starting. This is Marta from Dow High. This is the hard part of the meet when everybody has to be really quiet so the divers can concentrate. The divers need silence so that they can concentrate on their dives. I know I wouldn't want to be bouncing on the board. No, I can jump. I think you have to have a lot of guts to be a diver. You can see that little spout of water underneath the diving board right now. The divers look for the splash of the water where they want to enter. Our next diver is Kayla Patnode from Millen High.
Kayla's a sophomore. According to her coach, she's had an outstanding se season diving and looking forward to a good valley meet for her. Judges awards, four and one half, four and one half, four and one half. Total award, 21.6. And we'd like to take this opportunity to thank the volunteers. We couldn't put the uh, presentation and the coverage on today without them. Um, if you'd like to be a volunteer, uh, show up at between uh, 6.30 and 8.30 p.m. Monday, November 4th, or Saturday, November 9th, between uh, 10 a.m. and 1 p.m. to learn more about how to be a NCTV volunteer. You can become a TV producer and get hands-on training to start volunteering. Total award for Kathleen's dive was 19.2. Sydney Gross will be doing a one and a half back dive degree of difficulty 2.2 nice job you see that entrance entry with their feet close together almost no splash five six four and one half total award 34.10 this is our final round of Diving, beginning with Marta. The cost of that training is just $45, which includes your first year membership. You can call MCTV at 837-3474 or come down to the MCTV studios in the lower level of the Grace A. Dow Library. Learn more at www.midland-mlm.org mct slash MCTV or follow us on Facebook. Judges Awards, five Five, five, total award 22.5. We have one diver that's not with us this evening. Dow High has two divers and Midland High has three divers. The diver that's not with us is Angela Kuhn. And she's the captain. Angela's the captain of the Midland High swim team and was unable to dive this evening due to injury, an injury. Hopefully she'll be back for the Valleys. I hope so. Our next dive is a forward dive, two somersaults, degree of difficulty, 2.2. A lot of concentration on the board right now to do a double. Getting the diving board all set up so it has a lot of bounce. You have to have a lot of height to do two <laughs> somersaults. A sophomore, new diver, doing a double. And she made it. <laughs> Kayla has two brothers, I believe, that swam on the Midland High swim team, both swimmers. And so it's kind of neat to see her swim, um, participating on the swim team this year diving. Our next diver is Kathleen Bailey. Doing an inward dive, degree of difficulty, 1.4. always a lot of work to get the diving board set up exactly how you want it because you're going from a front dive to a back dive to a flip to a back flip. And everyone's different preference <laughs> to too. Be perfect. After diving, the swimmers will have an opportunity to have a 10 minute warm up since they've been sitting for a while. Oh, that was a very nice entry right there for Kathleen's last dive. Her total awards, four, five, five. Total award, 19.6. This is Sydney's final dive and the final dive of the evening. She's doing a back dive. In the straight position. Judges award. Five, six, and six. Total award, 28.9. This concludes diving for this evening.
The swimmers will get the pool ready for the swimming portion of the meet, and we will start with a 100 butterfly after their 10-minute warm-up. We'll see you back then. Our next event is event six, the 100-yard butterfly. Swimming from Dow High in lane one is Kelly Ballard. In lane three from Dow High is Emily Arthur. And in lane five from Dow High is Emily Roberson. Swimming the 100 butterfly from Midland High in lane two is Courtney Kaiser. In lane four is Anna Schulteis. This is heat one of the 100 butterfly. We just completed the diving portion of today's swimming and finishing in fourth place was Kathleen Bailey with a score of 109.4 from Dow High. Finishing third was Marta Kandorski from Dow High with a score of 137.8. Finishing second from Midland High was Kayla Patnode with a score of 147.75. And winning the diving was Sydney Gross from Midland High with a score of 196.05. Right now you are watching heat one of the 100 yard butterfly. Amber Roberson is apparently not swimming the 100 butterfly. She's gonna be swimming the 100 freestyle today in event seven. 100 butterfly is my favorite race, except for I didn't get a 10 minute warm up after diving before the 100 butterfly. I had to watch diving, get in the pool and swim the 100 butterfly. Funny how things have changed over the years. Yeah, we were talking about that at the break, that uh, you know, the, the organization that we have in this town uh, uh, for pretty much all high school sports, but with swimming with the morning practices and I almost call it a banquet after they finish. The breakfasts they put on for the swimmers really uh, really helps them, motivates them to work hard and gets the nutrition back up before the school day. That's how the Dow High swimmers, uh, that's how you motivate them to attend practices. The Dow High girls swim three mornings a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 5.15 until 6.45 at my house. My daughter leaves her house at 4.55, three mornings a week. She's in the Dow High parking lot shortly after 5 o'clock and in the pool no later than 5.15, but the reward of the buffet breakfast afterwards makes it worth it. Midland High has dry land practice on Friday so that they can stay at Midland High and then get to football games. This is heat two of the 100 butterfly. In lane two, we have Mary, or lane one, we have Mary Noble from Dow High. In lane three, Julia Arms from Midland High. And in lane five, we have Kara Dean from Dow High. In lane two from Midland High, Allie Key Kafer. Lane four, Abby Scheiber. In lane six, Callie Meath from Midland High. Abby Scheiber just broke the Midland High school record at Miska's a couple weekends ago with a time of a minute point something. And uh, out of the 26.95, uh, Julia Arns, she may be going for a pool record. The pool record's are uh, 58.27. And with the screaming I'm hearing, we could have a close finish for that record. All of her teammates are at the shallow end of the pool cheering her on. And here's where the tough part comes, that yeah, last that 10 yards. last 10 yards, it's possible. I think she's going to get it. Julia just went a 58-29. She just uh, missed it by 100th. two one-hundredths of a second. Julia a is race. a junior, and she'll have another opportunity next year because she will be in this pool her senior year, so she has one more year, but oh, to be so close. And Abby Scheiber went a 59, no, Abby Scheiber went a minute point six nine, and Kara Dean went a 59.98. Julia Arns will be swimming the 100 fly at the state meet. Ali, Abby Scheiber will also be swimming the 100 fly at the state meet. The state meet is right before Thanksgiving, so these girls have another month of swimming still. Our next event is event seven, the 100 yard freestyle. We have three heats. In lane two, Brooke Kuhn from Dow High. 
from Dow High in lane three, Holly Young. In lane four, Rachel Snyder. And in lane five, I think we have Amber Robeson, all from Dow High. This is heat three. This is considered an exhibition heat, meaning this heat will not score any points, but an opportunity for girls to get personal bests. 100 free is an all-out sprint. You're off the blocks, head down. Not very many breaths on 100 free. At least you want to limit the number of breaths you take. You need to have fast turns. And I don't want to say a little more forgiving than the 50 freestyle, but uh, you're, there's a little more swim in there, but nonetheless, you know, it's, a, it's an all-out sprint. An all-out sprint, you want to have fast feet. You want to have a really, really hard kick. You don't want your arms to do all the work. You have to have your legs do at least half the amount of work. And just as that 30-second time barrier is a big deal for the 50 freestyle, breaking that minute barrier is a big deal for the 100 freestyle. We have in lane three, Holly Young, that's off to a good start. After you do that flip turn, you really want to try to take at least one stroke before you take your first breath, but you're so tired that it's really, really hard to accomplish. That's something that takes a lot of practice, a lot of flip turn work. And building that endurance. Finishing first is Holly Young with a personal best at a 103.7. In lane five, Rachel Snyder also with a personal best at a 107.8. And then finishing third was Rachel Snyder. Oh, sorry, finishing second was Amber Robeson. She snuck into my program. She wasn't on my program, so that confused me a little bit. We have heat two of event seven in the 100-yard freestyle. Swimming for Dow High in lane one is Anna Alsop. In lane three is Megan Pasarczak. In lane five is Megan Partlow. Swimming from Midland High in lane two is Taylor Lynch. In lane four, Haley Diamond. And in lane six, Cassie Ramity. This is heat two of the 100 yard freestyle. You need to have a fast start when you're on the when you're starting for your 100 freestyle. You can see they have one foot forward and one foot behind. That's called a track start. Most of the kids do a track start. Used to be that you would have two feet forward when you did a start, but not so much anymore. Some people, still, some swimmers still prefer to do two feet forward, but most often you'll see a track start. Do they, uh, and if you, if you fall start, are you disqualified? Or do you, There's a no fall start rule, so if you fall start, you're disqualified. The, the official won't um, beep the horn or blow a whistle. The race will continue and you fall start the swimmer at the end of the race. So it doesn't stop the race, which is nice, but then it's hard for the swimmer to get disqualified on a start and you just swam a best time or you just swam a 100 or a 500. And, and that, that time won't qualify for any state meets or anything like that. There's a fall start rope on the pool deck. It's right there. It's that yellow rope that you see. They don't, They used to drop that rope when everybody fell in for a start. They would drop that rope to stop the swimmers, but they don't have to do that anymore. So it's kind it, of irrelevant. It does make the meet go much more efficiently and no one has to swim back and get up on the blocks, etc. It does. Winning that heat was Megan Pisarczyk with a 102.69. Megan's had a great season. She's gotten a lot of best times. Two seconds off her best time on that race. And finishing second with a 103, Anna Alsop, also a personal best time. And finishing third was Megan Partlow with a 107. She added a little bit of time. This is the final heat of the 100 freestyle. In lane one from Dow High, Jasmine Pertel. In lane three from Dow High, Jenna Lee. And in lane five from Dow High, Emily Durison. Swimming from Midland High, in lane two is Jordan N. In lane four, Haley Whitbrook. And in lane six is Kayla Taylor. This is heat three of the 100 freestyle. And uh, Haley, I think, is uh, the team, one of the team captains, one of the three team captains for uh, Midland High. Haley is a team captain. I think the only two seniors that I know of right now that are planning on continuing to swim next year is Abby Scheiber from Midland High, who would like to swim next year in college, and Kara Dean from Dow High, who will plan to swim next year in college. I think those are the only two 
seniors, one from each school that is interested in continuing. Swimming is a hard sport, and a lot of these girls have been swimming since they were early elementary school. And it takes, you know, it's a, when you swim in college, it's probably a five-hour-a-day commitment. It is, and this is a family. The girls from both teams have swum together for a really long time. Eat, sleep, and swim, that's their motto. We yeah. have in lane one Jasmine Pertel off to an early lead with Jenna Lee in lane three. Jasmine Pertel doesn't usually swim the 100 freestyle. She usually swims the 100 backstroke and the 200 IM. Jenna Lee is a 50 freestyler and a 100 freestyler. She had a personal best by almost two and a half seconds. A 55.73. And in second place, Jenna Lee with a 59.44. And a best time from Jordan ends with a minute point. Our next event is the 500 yard freestyle. So we go from an all out sprint of the 100 free to the longest event of the day, which is the 500 free. The 500 free is 20 lengths of the pool. We have two heats of the 500 free. Heat number one, or heat number one, lane one is Kelly Finn from Dow High, Mackenzie Peary in lane three from Dow High, Maddie Saggers in lane five from Dow High, Madeline Gruel in lane two from Midland High, Anna Schulteis in lane four from Midland High, and Sydney Meath in lane six from Midland High. This is heat one of the 500 freestyle. Luckily, you don't have to count your laps. Yes, someone counts them for you. You'll probably get a shot of that sometime during the race. But uh, you know, where the sprint was kind of an all-out sprint, put your head down and go, this race is all heart. You have to pace yourself for this. Unless you're Ellie, who will be swimming in heat two, she does a 500 all-out sprint. <laughs> but she has a lot of practice. Take your mark. I, know, I know the Midland coach has a... I don't know if it's an unwritten rule, but um, everybody on the swim team at some point during the season swims the 500. I think that's a good rule. I think Dow High has a similar rule. Everybody has to have an opportunity to swim all of the events. Ann Pankratz, the Midland High assistant coach, she swam at the University of Michigan for two years, and she was a distance freestyler. She said that she swam a lot of 500 freestyles, and she often swam the mile, in addition to her 200 butterfly. Ann Pankratz, this is her third year coaching for Midland High. She's also coached for the Midland Dolphins, and she coached for a club team in Texas. So a lot of these high school coaches have more experience than just coaching at Midland High or at Dow High. And this, the 500 is the longest race that, uh, that they have for uh, high school swimming. But uh, the Olympic swimming, I think the longest race for men's is 1,500 meters. And I, and I want to say I think it's 800 meters is the longest race for women's. I'm not uh, sure meters. about that. I thought that they would have been the same. I'm, I'm not sure, but uh, the, uh, th that's what, you know, one of the things is whenever I do this announcing is it's a historical perspective. Uh, everything, everything has a chance of changing. Well, isn't that the truth? The rules keep changing. Middle school girls starts on Monday and the longest race for the middle school girls is a 200 freestyle. Good news for Midland Public Schools since the Midland Community Center now runs all the middle school sports, we're gonna have a boys swim team. We haven't oh. had a boys swim team for five years and we're gonna have a boys swim team this year in January through March, beginning around January 20th. The boys and the girls middle school teams will compete against um, Bay City and Saginaw. So it'll be a Midland, Bay City, and Saginaw league. Very much looking forward to that. I'll be coaching both the Jefferson team, girls and boys. Keith Seibert will coach for the Northeast girls, and Nick Pellegrino is going to come back and coach for the Northeast boys. Nick has also coached for Midland High boys. And, uh, and Pat Welter is now coaching for the Midland High boys. So Nick is going to do middle school. And I know as, as we've thanked the volunteers here, you know, the, we probably should thank the community that uh, we're fortunate to have kept open the Northeast pool uh, th through, through, the, uh, through the support. And I have a crowd shot here. It's uh, like the seventh inning stretch right here. You know, you have that long swim right there. Everybody gets to stretch. 
We have a nice spectator um, section today. It's full, lots of parents and friends and family. I have some of my younger Midland Dolphin swimmers that are here today watching their next door neighbors. I had an opportunity during the warm up to go and talk to some of my elementary school age swimmers. They were excited to be here at the meet because of course I missed practice today and I told them that I was gonna be here. So it was fun that they could come and watch. So I don't know if you can see at the end of the pool, um, at the end of the pool you have the lap counters. You can see the person there uh, flipping the sign and I think probably getting ready to stick it in the water and that's how they keep track of whatever lap or length that they're on. And so a lot of times swimmers have some kind of code for their lap counters. If they shake it side to side, like this is um, number 11 is being shaked um, is shaking side to side, maybe you need to speed up a little bit. Or if you shake it really fast, maybe you need to kick harder. If you go up and down, maybe it means something else. It's always funny when you swim that uh, there's certain voices that you hear in the crowd that uh, you know, I'm sure, uh, I know from when I swam, the, the, uh, the, 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 I don't know if it's the accent or the certain sounds that he made, but I could always pick my coach's voice out. So in a 500, I would always, you never wanted to hear his voice because usually that meant you weren't going fast enough. Sometimes it's hard to see your coach on the side of the pool kicking their, you know, moving their arms up and down, telling you to kick your legs harder, and you're so tired. <laughs> but you want to please your coach, and you want to kick a little bit harder. It's amazing what you do for the coach. That's why parents have to be parents, and coaches have to be coaches. Yeah, that's the voice of experience from both chairs, it sounds like. I have uh, three... Three kids that have all grown up in the competitive swimming world, and all three of them are lifeguards and myself in the summertime, and I'll teach lessons, so it's definitely been a family sport. My husband didn't grow up swimming, but he spends all his time in the office running the computer, so without him running the computer, this meet wouldn't even happen. And a special thanks to Amy Strickler, Gary Strickler's wife, who works in the office for all of the Dow High home meets and works with Randy and works, she does all of the announcing and she runs the, the touch pads, the scoreboard. Yeah, you can tell by that big scoreboard that you've seen that uh, there's quite a, it's amazing how much computer equipment there is to make it all run smoothly. And we have one timer behind each lane as a backup just in case there's a computer glitch. So it takes a lot of people to put on a swim meet like this. So the gun automatically starts when it, when it's, excuse me, the horn automatically starts when the uh, starter pushes the button so the computer starts. Then when you touch the pad for the final length or split times, um, the computer automatically stops it. Um, as Buffy said, you have a backup button in case the touchpad doesn't function, uh, that the timer will, will stop the uh, clock with a button. And then you also have a backup watch. Um, it uh, is recorded in all three systems check against each other to make sure they get accurate timing for the for the meet. Looks like we're coming in for that last lap. You see that little bit extra sprint coming in. And this is Mackenzie Peary in lane three who just went a 606. She just dropped six or dropped 10 seconds in her 500 freestyle and I don't know if you saw that but she stopped after 450 yards. I think her lap counter got a little bit confused and the timer was yelling at Mackenzie to swim two more lengths and even with that extra stop she dropped 10 seconds. She'll be in good shape for the valley it sounds like. Yeah she's really dropped a lot of time and has become a nice distance swimmer for the Chargers. Finishing second in lane four was Anna Schulteis who dropped a second in her 500 freestyle at a time of a 638.57. And we have a close finish for third. Third place in lane five. Maddie Saggers with a 6.59. She dropped six seconds in her 500 freestyle. And in, sixth, in fourth place, we have Sydney Meath, who went a 7.01. Have a couple swimmers finishing up the 500 freestyle. The times tend to be staggered a lot more than you would see in a 53 or 100 free <laughs> when it's tenths of seconds or hundreds of seconds, you have much wider range of times in a 500 freestyle. And a lot fewer heats. Yes, that's true. Thank goodness, because it is a long event. I wouldn't want to sit through 20 heats of a 500 freestyle. 
That would be a lot of heats. And finishing up in lane one, we have Anna Alsa or we have um, Kelly Finn with a time of 7.48. Also personal best, she dropped six seconds. A special and thanks to Kelly place. for that uh, very, very nice rendition of the national anthem tonight. Kelly is one of Dow High's seniors. She joined the swim team either as a sophomore or a junior, I'm not sure. And she's done a nice job for the team. And that little touch of class being able to sing sure has been nice the last few home meets. We have heat number two of the 500 freestyle next up. In lane one, Claire Gombosi from Dow High. In lane three, Ellie Dean from Dow High. In lane five, Mary Noble from Dow High. Swimming for the Chemex in lane two, Catherine Vernier. In lane four, Cambry Reed. And in lane six, Midland High's captain, Ann Trapani. This is heat two of the 500 free. If you're just joining us, this is the final dual meet of the season. Midland High versus Dow High. The score of the meet after the 100 freestyle, or the score of the meet after, yeah, after the 100 freestyle is Dow High 79, Midland High 30. Well, for this race here, um, we should have a pretty exciting race. Uh, we, we have a potential pool record. Uh, uh, Ellie Dean's seed time, so in other words, her best time coming into this race, actually is faster than the pool record, so probably swam that on a way meet. Ellie swam a 508 in the 500 freestyle at Miskas a couple weeks ago. Miskas is a, a swim meet for the entire state of Michigan. It's sponsored by the referees, and you have to have a seed time or you have to have a qualifying time to attend the MISCA meet. It's kind of like a, like a Junior Olympic type meet. It's slower than the final state meet. It gives you an opportunity to get a state cut. So the kids that attend the MISCA meet are the faster kids in the state of Michigan, but not the fastest. So where and was that held this year? It was held at Eastern Michigan University. I believe it's always held at Eastern Michigan University. And I think Ellie was third at the MISCA meet a couple of weeks ago. The 500 free is her specialty. She's out in a 57.88 just for the first 100 and then has to swim another 400, 400 yards. Well, she'll try to keep all of her 100s around a minute and try to get that pool record. And that pool record is set by Christy Haydenick, who we talked about earlier. Christy Haydenick was a great freestyler and a great backstroker. So that record, 1987, so it's been hanging around for 26 years. Ellie has some of Christie's other records in our age group swim team in the freestyle events. Ellie's been the only one that's been able to break Christie's records. So let's hope that she can do it today. Ellie's sister, Kara, broke the pool record and the school record in the 200 IM earlier this evening. 500 freestyle is a long race. Each swimmer has to swim 50 or swim 20 lengths of the pool, and there's a lap counter at the shallow end of the pool, so you don't have to worry about counting your laps. And this mentally, this is really a tough race when you're out there in the lead by yourself. That uh, you know, when she's at the Miska meet, as you mentioned, down in uh, at Mi Eastern Michigan or at the state meet, or she's or seated even the with girls that are as fast as she is, and this she is completely swimming by herself. She's kind of out on an island. Mm -hmm. Kind of like when Kara swam her IM, she swam that race all by herself. These girls train hard together. These, these girls swim two hours after school every day, both Midland High and Dow High. Midland High swims right after school on Mondays and Tuesdays, and Dow High swims after they do from 5 to 7 at night. And then they do the reverse on Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. Dow High swims early, Midland High swims late in addition to Dow High swimming Monday, Wednesday, and Friday morning. So tomorrow morning, the Dow High girls will be back in the pool at 5.15 in the morning for another practice. So and Midland High has dry land on Fridays. 
So 300 yards in, she's on pace with a 301.56. So she's got uh, you know, five, five seconds to five or six seconds to give and still beat the pool record if she averages a minute 100. I think she's pretty determined right now. You Let's got you, determination would be one of the characteristics for this race. That's for sure, and she loves it. It's nice to have an athlete that loves to swim a 500 freestyle because there aren't many that can say that. You know, not only are these swimmers from Midland High and Dow High dedicated and outstanding athletes, they're so nice to each other and great sportsmanship, but they're all very, very smart girls. I was talking to Carol Boychuk at Midland High, and she was telling me about some of her students who are now college freshmen that are in engineering programs at U of M and is very academic in Michigan State. And I know that your daughter is at U of M. And I know um, Kara has an outstanding GPA, these, Kara Dean. These kids are super smart. You definitely learn a work ethic in the pool. You do. These kids don't have a whole lot of time to do anything else besides homework, swimming, and eating. Best shapes of their lives, that's for <laughs> sure. And at my house, my daughter says the great thing about being a swimmer is swimmers can eat whatever they want because we burn so many calories. I also was looking uh, through some of the information here that uh, Annie uh, Trapini, uh, the senior captain from Midland High that's in lane six, uh, the 500 is also her favorite, favorite race. I'm glad that she gets to swim in at her last dual meet. Here's okay. Ellie winding down at the coming end. Coming in for the last. Let's see, five minutes. Oh, she is going to be close. She's going to smash the pool, the, a yes. pool record. 505.91. Ellie Dean just broke a pool record at a 505.91. She already holds the Dow High record at a 503.80. It's a great day at the Dean House today, and those girls work so hard, they both deserve it. Almost six seconds off the pool record. So Ellie Dean, pool record, just broke Christy Haydenick's pool record. And to think that Ellie's only a junior. Ellie can do this again. Look at the smile on her face. She's trying to smile, but she's too tired. Uh, breathing's more important. <laughs> <laughs> she's so tired. Well, congratulations to Ellie, with, who just set a new pool record in the 500 freestyle with a time of a 5.05.91. And the other swimmers are still, fin oh, we just have our second place. Our second place finish was a 5.20.17 by Mary Noble, a best time, also a state cut. Perhaps Mary will swim the 500 free at the state meet. Mary also has several other state times. She has the 100 butterfly cut also, and she's really close to the 200 IM. Finishing third was Claire Gombosi with a 5.57.17. Finishing fourth in lane four, Cambry Reed with a 6.14. Finishing fifth in lane two, Catherine Vernier with a best time at a 6.14. And finishing sixth, and Andrew Panny with a best time and a 6.34. Lots of best times in that 500 freestyle. N nice way to finish for the senior captain with the best time. Our next race is the 200-yard freestyle relay. This is a fast race. <laughs> Each girl swimming a 50 freestyle. We have two heats of this in heat one from Dow High, Maddie Coleman, Tiffany Nestorak, Isabel Kempel, and Leanne Hogue. In lane two from Midland High, Callie Meath, Brianna Bromwell, Taylor Lynch, and Madeline Gruel. And from Dow High in lane three, Piper Nugent, Lauren McLean, Elizabeth Roden, and Rachel Snyder. From Midland High in lane four, Courtney Kaiser, Stephanie Lynch, Gabrielle Holman, and Sydney Meath. In lane five from Dow High, Megan Partlow, Kelly Finn, Maddie Saggers, and Brooke Coon. Lane six from Midland High, Allison Brubaker. Cassie Ramity, Brittany DeFord, and Maggie Dykes. This is heat one of the 200-yard freestyle relay. So, Buffy, you know the name so well. i got to believe that probably 70 or 80% of the kids have swum for you at one time or another. I have coached a lot of these kids, that's for sure. If I haven't coached them, I've definitely seen their name. Maybe um, since I coached Jefferson, maybe I've seen their name in heat sheets because they coached that Northeast. But a lot of these kids I've coached through the Midland Dolphins. A lot of these kids I've had as students also because I teach 
art in Midland Public School, so I've seen a lot of these kids. I used to teach at Plymouth, so I had some of the kids at Midland High, but then I also taught at Sie teach at Siebert and Woodcrest, so then I have the kids at Dow High, so I know a lot of kids. <laughs> I feel very fortunate. There are four swimmers that make a relay team, and you can see them all behind the blocks. And as we talked in the medley relay, it really shows the depth. I mean, you've got 50 girls uh, all from Midland swimming this one event, all in high school. Because we have two heats of the 200-yard freestyle. Each length of the pool is a 25, so each girl swims a 50 freestyle, so two lengths. You have to kick really, really hard when you do a sprint and move those arms fast and not take very many breaths. You can see what a close race this is between lanes two, three, four, and five. It's anybody's race right here. This is just the second swimmer, so there are two more swimmers to go. Have to make sure you have a safe start. Anybody falls starts, then the whole relay is disqualified. It's not just you, you take the whole team down. The other one, uh, uh, the relays are exciting because you, as you're changing, you know, changing uh, people swimming, the lead changes. Makes right, that you saw a just little... a minute ago, these four teams were neck and neck, and now lane three is really pulled ahead. Usually when you put together a relay, a relay like this, usually the anchor or the fourth person is your fastest person on your team, and your second fastest person goes first, and then it's coach's decision where you want the third in you know, the slower two people if you want them to go second or third. Some coaches have their slowest swimmer go third. Some coaches have their slowest swimmer go second. Some coaches do a backwards relay and they go fastest to slowest. That's a lot of pressure on the slowest swimmer to go fourth. And a lot of it depends on, you know, if you're, if you're trying to motivate that last swimmer by, by giving them a lead so they can hang on. Winning that relay was lane three, the team of Piper Nugent, Lauren McLean, Elizabeth Roden, and Rachel Snyder from Dow High. Another interesting thing about a relay is if you are the first swimmer on a relay, then that time can count for a legitimate time. Like if you got your best time leading off a relay, then that is a best time. But if you are the second, third, or fourth summer, it's a relay split time, and it doesn't count for a best time. So could you qualify for state in the 50 free with the leadoff time? You could, because that's a legitimate time. Because you left at the start of the horn, and you touched the touch pad. But second, third, and fourth summer doesn't count for a best time. It can count for your best relay split, but it doesn't count in the computer for a best time. I know I was looking at some of the NCAA times. Uh, University of Michigan was the national champions, and they were splitting 50 freestyles for the men's team in 17 seconds. That's incredible. For a 50 freestyle. We have uh, Dow High's Jackson Gofi, who is a freshman at the University of Michigan, who is swimming for the Wolverines this year. Haven't heard how he's doing. I don't know if he's been able to swim in any meets. I think competition just started, like, last week. I know he was the state champion last year in the uh, 50 freestyle, and I think the 100 also. I think you're right. This is heat two of the 200-yard freestyle relay in lane one from Dow High, Megan Pisarczyk, Holly Young, Emma Bauk, and Anna Alsop. In lane two from Midland High, Kayla Taylor, Alexis Ligib, Jennifer Gillings, and Cambry Reed. In lane three from Dow High, Jasmine Portel, Jenna Lee, Emily Arthur, and Aaron McDonald. In lane four from Midland High, Haley Rip Grote, Jordan Enns, Allie Keekafer, and Abby Scheiber. In lane five from Dow High, Hannah Jacobs, Bridget Bruno, Lauren Hall, and Emily Durson. In lane six from Midland High, Natalie Halpin, Elliot Reed, Ann Trapani, and Catherine Vernier. This is heat two of the 200-yard freestyle relay. Dow High is off to a big lead in the water right now. We have Jenna Lee. Jenna Lee is probably one of Dow High's top four 50 freestyle sprinters. This is a fast race. Fast arms, fast feet, fast starts, fast turns, little breathing. Not much room for mistakes in a 50 freestyle. I think Midland High might be closing a little bit. We're going to see if we have a race here. In the water for Midland High, we have 
Allie Keekafer. Allie Keekafer's sister, Kate Keekafer, was a great sprinter. And in lane five, we have Lauren Hall ready to touch. In lane five, we have Emily Durson, who just dove in. In lane two, in the water, we have Cambry Reed. It's fun when you go to state meets and all of the times are within tenths of seconds from each other and the races are, the whole heat is an even heat. When you get to a dual meet, there's a bigger range of abilities and the scores vary. You were describing what uh, I, I describe as the arrowhead going down the pool. But you, you have the big, you know, 50 freestyle, it's a froth where the, the first person may only be like a yard ahead of the eighth person. The girls are able to warm down. They have to have a feet first entry, so they have to jump into the pool. If you would accidentally dive into the pool, at this point you could disqualify your whole relay. I've seen that happen before, and the coaches really work hard at educating their swimmers to make sure that they jump in. The score of the meet right now is Dow High 102, Midland High 37. The next event is the 100 backstroke. There are two heats. In lane one, we have Anne Marie Molinar from Dow High. In lane two, Allison Brubaker from Midland High. In lane three, Hannah Jacobs from Dow High. In lane four, Stephanie Lynch from Midland High. In lane five, Bridget Bruno from Dow High. And in lane six, Brittany DeFord from Midland High. This is heat one of the 100 backstroke. This is another Christy Haydenick pool record and um, Dow High record. We talked about that name earlier. And 100 backstroke is a fast race, fast kick, fast turn. You have to get those arms moving fast, and you have to try to swim in a straight line. And this is another one of those things that where the kind of rules have evolved over time. You'll notice uh, as they come into the wall, they roll over, they're allowed to roll over on their stomach, and I think one stroke on their stomach, and then a forward flip turn. And you have to make sure that you turn onto your stomach close enough to the wall that you're not kicking into the wall for too long. If you're kicking into the wall for too long, you can get disqualified for that. There's and so many rules for so many strokes. And you'll, you'll notice the flags over the, uh, the pool, that they use those to count the number of strokes. From when they hit the flags, they see those, and it may be four or five strokes when they roll on their stomach, or probably three strokes now. Um, and then, as I said, go into the turn. And that's supposed to be standard in every 25-yard pool that you go to. So if the girls travel to another pool, their stroke count at the Dow High pool and their stroke count at another pool should be the same. And they should all know what their stroke count is for their flip turn and for their finish. Finishing heat one, is finishing first is Hannah Jacobs with a 109.82. Again, we talked about how heat one is the exhibition heat, so this heat is not a point scoring heat. And actually in the point scoring heats, you only score first through fifth place. Oh, I didn't Sixth know Sixth place doesn't even score points. And in relays, only first, second, and third place scores points. Heat two of the 100 backstroke is our next event. In lane one, we have Aaron McDonald from Dow High. In lane two, Allie Keekafer from Midland High. In lane three, Jasmine Patel from Dow High. In lane four, Sabrina Vernier from Midland High. Lane five, Elizabeth Moraskin from Dow High. And in lane six, we have Callie Meath from Midland High. We have a lot of siblings that swim together, or cousins. We have the Vernier girls, we have the Meath cousins, we have the Dean girls, and I know that there are a couple other families. Uh, I think they're Lynch sisters. It's kind of fun. And Sabrina's a team captain from uh, Midland High. And Sabrina Vernier is, uh, doesn't usually do backstroke. Sabrina Vernier usually does breaststroke. So this is a change for her to be in a backstroke event. It's nice to be such a versatile swimmer, and she's a great 200 IMer. Sabrina Vernier has been um, swimming for many years since age group swimming and has been on the Midland High swim team for four years. Backstrokers are waiting for the referees to call them in the water. The backstrokers die from an in-water start. We have Chili Smith and Lori Smith that have been doing our officiating this evening. And it would be a bit of a stretch, but uh, Jasmine Patel's got a chance to beat that uh, pool record you were speaking of. 
need, would need to take a second and a half off, but. Uh, well, Jasmine Pertel is suited up. These girls suited up in their lasers. This is our fast competition suit that they usually, swim, they usually wear at big meets like the state meet or valleys or tri-cities. And so only, she's suited up in a fast suit, so she must be going for it. And you only get about, uh, what, eight, ten swims out of those? I know it's not very I, many. Ten swims is definitely pushing it. <laughs> and the suits that the girls are wearing probably are not even, they're probably at their ten wear limit. But there's a lot of, a lot of, um, just makes you feel good, a lot of psych to uh, put on a fast suit. It's like any sport. You, you, right. If you uh, don't feel like you're going to do it, you probably won't. Well, she probably is going to be a little bit short of a 58 today, but Ellie and Jasmine are both juniors, and they have more opportunities. So, so she'll have another try full year next year. Yep, we have a really, a really fast, some fast juniors in the water right now from both schools. So we've it's already kind of funny how things go in cycles. Yeah, I think we've had classes. two individual, uh, two individual pool records tonight, and uh, have a chance for I think one in that last relay. That's what we're hoping for. Winning the 100 breaststroke was Jasmine Patel with a time of a 101.12. Our next event is the 100 yard breaststroke. The score of the meet right now is Dow High 102, Midland High 37. 100 breaststroke, this is the last individual event of the day. We have one more event after the 100 breaststroke and that's our relay. In lane one, we have Elizabeth Roden from Dow High, Gabrielle Holman from Midland High in lane two, Abby Cook from Dow High in lane three. Natalie Jane Rogg in lane four from Midland High, Kelly Ballard from Dow High in lane five, Brianna Bromwell in lane six from Midland High. This is heat one of the 100 yard breaststroke. Jessica Hoyda holds the pool record for um, Midland High in the 100 breaststroke at a 105.70 and that record is untouchable right now. There's nobody that fast. In the city of Midland, there are no girls. And Jesse went on and swam in college and has done quite well and got Olympic trial cuts in the 100 breaststroke. We have a close race right here. We have a close first, second, and third right here. Abby Cook in lane three is a freshman from Dow High. Off to a nice um, start and in lane five. We have Kelly Ballard, who is a sophomore. Both have had good, good seasons. It's just hard to imagine that this season is almost over. The last dual meet for Midland High and Dow High, especially for these seniors on both teams. This is their last, their last dual meet in this pool. We still have valleys to look forward to. The second week of November, the girls will be traveling to Saginaw Valley State University, where they will compete. Um, Midland High was fifth at Tri-Cities earlier in September, and Dow High was first at the Tri-City meet, and we have Valleys coming up. Winning heat one of the 100 breaststroke was Abby Cook with a time of 121.99. Finishing second in lane five was Kelly Ballard with a 123.06, and finishing third was Elizabeth Roden with a time of a 128.78. Finishing fourth was Natalie Jamrog. Fifth was Gabrielle Holman. And sixth was Brianna Bromwell. Heat two of the 100 yard breaststroke swimming for Dow High. In lane one is Emily Durson. In lane three is Lauren Hall from Dow High. And in lane five is Emma Bout from Dow High. From Midland High swimming in lane two is Elliot Reed. In lane four is Natalie Halpin, and in lane six is Alexis Ligon. This is heat two of the 100-yard breaststroke. Well, we'll have to wish Lauren a good luck here. All right. Lauren Hall missed the state cut by .21 at Miscos two weeks ago. Not feeling that a state cut is probably going to happen today because she doesn't have her fast suit on. But she has an opportunity on Saturday when they go to the Gross Point Invitational and we still have valleys. These girls aren't tapered yet. Tapering means they slow down their yardage 
And these girls have not slowed down their yardage at all. I don't believe Midland High is tapered either. Yeah, one of the other interesting things is how the rules have changed in this stroke over the years. That uh, back when we swam, your head had to be always out of the water. Um, the, the, the breaststroke, you'll notice, I don't notice anyone using what I call the, as much of the overhand recovery sometimes as you see. But They don't teach that to these kids. They Maybe a boy who's big and strong. Lauren's uh, hands come out of the water a little yeah. bit. Yep, and we see that when she's coming back at us. You have to have a two-hand touch. What is different right now, the underwater pull, you can do a butterfly kick in the underwater pull, and that gives you a little bit of speed. And she does get a little bit of that dolphin action with your head able to go underwater now for uh, when, when she's dipping between breasts. Right. Lauren has a big lead against the rest of her um, field, except for not a 111 today. We'll wish her luck at the valleys, and uh, that's probably where she's aiming to do it. Definitely. I think after a taper, we're going to see some of these times get even faster, and some of these girls are already fast. Finishing first in the 100 breaststroke lane three, Warren Hall with a time of 115.22. Finishing second, Natalie Halpin with a time of 122.09. And finishing third was Emily Dorison. We've got a close finish here in that replay here with the three girls coming in. Looks like lane four just touched her out for second place. Nice long glide into the wall. You have to make sure that you have a good two-hand touch. This is our final event of the day. We have event 12, which is the 400 freestyle relay. Coming into the 400 freestyle relay, the score of the meet is Dow High 114, Midland High 41. In lane two from Dow High, we have Leanne Hogue, Isabel Kempel, Madeline Coleman, and Lauren McLean. In lane three from Dow High, Henry Molinar, Megan Partlow, Megan Pisarczyk, and Anna Alsop. In lane four from Dow High, Holly Young, Mackenzie Peary, Amber Roberson, and Elizabeth Roden. This is heat one of the 400 yard freestyle relay. Each swimmer will swim four lengths of the pool freestyle. So this relay is a little, takes you know, twice as long as the 200 freestyle relay. So this is a good relay for the girls that are not quite dis not quite sprinters. The uh, I'd like to take the opportunity to thank for the coverage and donations from the Saginaw Road Subway, making uh, possible tonight, and the donation of sandwiches for the crew. Uh, also, would like to take the opportunity to give an announcement, uh, an opportunity for folks out there. Do you sing, dance, play an instrument, or tell jokes? Let MCTV put you in the spotlight. The friends of MCTV are hosting the fifth annual Midland Shining Star Talent Show on Saturday, December 7th. To schedule your performance, call MCTV at 837-3474 or email midlandstars at yahoo.com. Start your journey to become a Midland Shining Star. This is the Midland High versus Dow High swim meet, the last dual meet of the season. We're on our last race. This is event number 12, the 400-yard freestyle relay. We have three teams, all from Dow High, who are competing in the exhibition heat of the relay. We're on our second swimmer right now in the water. Each swimmer swims four lengths of the pool, and we will have two heats. And as you noted, uh, Buffy, the relays count double points in high school swimming. Um, they count double points and only three relay score points. So only first, second, and third place score points for their team. Fourth, fifth, and sixth place don't score points. And individually, only first through fifth place score points. I think a lot of people don't know that. I, I didn't before you mentioned it tonight. So it's not just... The most important thing isn't just getting first place. It's important for a team to have depth. If you can get the seconds and the thirds and the fourths, those add up to more points than getting first place. Getting first place for your races obviously is very nice, but depth is really what's important. I'll tell you, as we've, no as we've noted more than once, uh, around town, you know, 70 girls swimming, uh, you know, high school girls swimming at this event tonight all for Midland 
It does show a lot of depth we have in the community for the swimming programs. And the middle school girls swim team starts on Monday. There'll be about 80 middle school girls that will compete between Jefferson and Northeast, and those girls all feed into the high school program. So we're so lucky in Midland to begin with the middle school program so we can do that. And we're so lucky to have an age group team like the Midland Dolphins, the Midland Dolphins Swim Club has over 200 kids in the water, and I would say more than half of the high school girls participated in the Midland Dolphin program at some point in their swimming career, if not more than half. So we're on the third swimmer right now, or is this the fourth swimmer? I think this is the fourth swimmer. The fourth swimmer just dove in. So each swimmer swims one, four lengths of the pool. And this is our second to last race of the meet. Today was senior night for Dow High. Dow High recognized seven seniors, seven seniors that will be moving on and going to college. So it was a, a somber moment for a lot of the girls and Midland High celebrated senior night earlier um, in the season last week or the week before and Midland High had six, has six seniors on their team. Midland High has 33 girls on their team and Dow High has 37 girls on the team. So both very big teams. So uh, those 13 girls, that's the last, probably the last time they'll swim here at this pool. It is, and a lot of these girls have swam together for a long time. Dow High has an undefeated dual meet record. Midland High had a really close meet against Bay City Western, and Bay City Western just edged them out. It'll be interesting what happens at the Valleys. That's a good competition. The Valley Meet will be the second weekend of November. The girls will swim prelims on Thursday and finals on Saturday, and that will be their grand finale. And then some of the girls will go on to the state meet. Finishing first in heat one of the 400 freestyle relay in lane three was Anne-Marie Molinar, Megan Partlow, Megan Pisarczyk, and Anna Alsop. And uh, the Valleys are held over at uh, Saginaw Valley uh, State College, State University. We're so nice to have that pool and having that pool, a competitive pool. This is our second or third year being able to swim at Saginaw Valley. It's an eight-lane pool. Eight girls get to swim in the bonus heat. Eight girls get to come back and swim in the consolation heat. And eight girls get to come back for finals and swim in the final heat. So 24 girls get to swim in finals for the Tri-City Meet and the Valley Meet. When Dow High hosted it at Dow High, only 12 girls got to come back for finals. So you have doubled the number of athletes that get to compete at finals. And I, and I want to say um, Dow High last year had, you know, there was like 36 girls on the team and like 27 of them, or it was some very large number. Made which, it is, back. which is great when you have a bonus heat and you add eight other kids that get to swim. I mean, that's fantastic. The bonus heat doesn't score points. The bonus heat kids can't, if you get a best time, you can't um, move up to a different heat and score points or stay in that bracket. The consolation kids can't leave that bracket, but consolation heat and final heat score points. It's really a great event. This is the final event of the meet. This is heat two of the 400 yard freestyle relay. In lane one, we have from Dow High, Abby Cook, Bridget Bruno, Claire Gombosi, and Kelly Ballard. In lane two from Midland High, Katherine Vernier, Kayla Taylor, Anna Schulteis, and Jennifer Gillings. In lane three from Dow High, Julia Arns, Cara Dean, Mary Noble, and Allie Dean. In lane four from Midland High, Cambry Reed, Jordan Enns, Allie P. Kafer, and Sabrina Vernier. In lane five from Dow High, Emily Durson. Elizabeth Moraskin, Erin McDonald, and Jenna Lee. And in lane six from Midland High, Ann Trapani, Haley Diamond, Julia Quinn, and Maggie Deep. This is heat two of the 400 yard freestyle relay. And uh, the seed time for Dow High's team uh, at uh, 3.38 uh, is faster than the pool record. And these girls are going for a pool record. We talked earlier about suiting up and wearing their fast suits. And that's exactly what they're doing. Julia Arns is in the water right now, leading off her team. Kara Dean has split 53s in her 100 freestyle every single meet this year, which is an incredible, incredible accomplishment, a great time. The other thing that's interesting, that's the first time I've ever seen this, is 
the four girls that are swimming in this relay were the four girls last year that set the record. Well, there you go, trying to set it again. I would think they're a little bit faster. If you notice that relay start from lane three from Kara, she started at the back of the block and moved towards the front of the block to do her relay start. Some of the girls are using that start. Some use two feet forward, some use a track start still, and some girls start at the back of the block, kind of like to get a running start. Momentum. So we'll have to see if the next swimmer, I think the next swimmer is Mary Noble, we'll have to see if Mary does the running start. I don't know technically what it's called, <laughs> but that's what it looks like. Yeah, another interesting one here, uh, the division qualifying time for Division Two for the state meet is 3.53. These girls that are swimming are 15 seconds below that time for qualifying. Midland High and Dow High will take relays to the state meet, but you're only allowed to take one relay. Several of Dow High's B relays have qualified for states, but they don't get to go to the state meet because Dow High only gets to take one relay. And that tends to happen quite a bit with the number of, with a team this size and the number of talented athletes to be able to have an A team and a B team qualify, but only the A team gets to participate. Right now from Midland High, Abby Scheiber has a state cut in the 100 butterfly. From Dow High, Julia Arms, Mary Noble, Jasmine Patel, Cara Dean, and Ellie Dean all have individual state cuts. Lauren Hall is sitting on the 100 breaststroke state cut by just a couple tenths of a second and Elizabeth Maraskin is really close to the state cut in the 100 backstroke, so there are a couple more girls that could potentially get state cuts in the next couple meets. We have the final swimmer in the water in lane three. This is Ellie Dean. This is the last event of the day. This is heat two of the 400 yard freestyle relay. After this relay, the girls will get to have a 25-yard warm down, and then the pool will be open for all of the girls to warm down. Have to warm down before they go home and do their homework for the night, because I'm sure they have a lot of homework still to do since they've been here since 4.30. Well, Ellie's the last one in the water here, and she's on pace for the record. It's going to be a close finish at 3.39 for the pool record. They're seated at a 3.38. Oh, this is going to be a really close. Thing. I think she's going to just get it. Um, 3.39.22. Oh, one they one hundred. by one one hundredth of a second. Oh, so we've had one miss by two one hundredths and one miss by a hundredth. Boy. It's good. the same four girls. So the same four girls. They were just as fast today as they were last year at this time. They broke the record on October 25th. 2012 at a 339.21. Today, October 22nd, 2013, they went a 339.22. Well, three of the four are juniors, so they'll, three of the four will get a chance next year. I don't know, without Kara <laughs> Dean going yeah, a 53. A, Nobody yeah. else can go a 53. I think that record is going to be there for Probably a while. Probably a little safe. I think it'll be there for a while. And in finishing second in lane five, is a Dow High B team of Emily Durson, Elizabeth Moraskin, Aaron McDonald, and Jenna Lee. Finishing third from Midland High is uh, Cambry Reed, Jordan Enns, Ali Keekafer, and Sabrina Vernier. I'll, I'll be another one of the historical notes. Uh, the team record, the Dow High team record, or the Dow record is 332. 46 from also 1988. You've heard that year quite a bit. But it shows the depth of that team back then. It, it wasn't just uh, Chrissy Hydenic, that there was three other girls that were with her. Uh, 332, that's, that's uh, every swimmer averaging a 53. That's really fast. And right now, Ellie's the only one that can go a 53. Um, Ellie, or Carolyn Kara. a 53. Ellie went out a 54. And uh, split or let off a 54, which is really fast. So the girls are doing their relay warm down right now. So tonight we had two individual uh, pool, pool records. records, and we had one school record. Yes, for the IM, the 200 IM. 
Right, and so now the girls will do their cheering. Girls like to do that. An impressive, an impressive body of work today. The final score of today's swimming is Dow High 137, Midland High 48. The girls are getting all ready to do their team cheer. There really isn't a whole lot of rivalry between the Midland High and the Dow High girls swim team. They're all friends. They've swam together for a long time. They really, really are great sports together. It's just an opportunity for the Midland High girls and the Dow High girls to swim together. They really look forward to this meet. And hey, we wanted to take the opportunity here to give you the times that this uh, this broadcast will be uh, re-recorded or re, uh, re we televised on uh, MPS TV 98 on Charter Communication or through Channel 99 on AT&T U-verse. This event will be cablecast at the following dates. Thursday, October 24th, 7 p.m. Friday, October 25th at 7 p.m. Saturday, October 26th, 10 a.m. and 7 p.m. For more dates and times, check your local listings or the Midland Public Schools website. You may also watch this program online by visiting www.midland-mi.org slash mctv. Also, a thank you for the coverage of the meet today, made possible in part by donations from Saginaw Road Subway Restaurant. The coverage of the swim meet is being produced by MCT volunteers and staff. If you'd like to work on the show like this one, come to our next orientation slash studio training class on Monday, November 4th at 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. or Saturday, November 9th from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Learn more about MCTV and how to become a TV producer and get hands-on training to start, to start volunteering. The cost is $45, which includes your first year membership. Call 837-3474 or come down to MCTV Studios in the lower level of the Grace A. Dow Library. Learn more at www.midland-mi.org slash MCTV or follow us on Facebook. And I'm Buffy Hall and this is Fritz Hyde and thank you for watching the Midland Dow Girls Swim Meet. Have a good evening. <laughs>